Hello and welcome to this edition of Vaughn Sports Update, where we bring you sporting events from Nigeria, Africa and the rest of the world. Nigeria's Falconets kicked off their FIFA Under-20 Women's World Cup campaign in Colombia with a perfect start, securing a 1-0 victory over South Korea in their Group D opener. A late goal from Floris Sebastian, who plays for Stade de Rent in France, and the Falconets the crucial three points. Notably, Sebastian also scored a late winner for the Falconets in the 1-0 victory over France in their opening match of the 2022 Under-20 Women's World Cup in Costa Rica. The victory over South Korea places the Falconets second in Group D, just behind Germany, who demolished Venezuela 5-2. Ahead of the crucial 2025 Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers against Benin Republic and Rwanda, the Nigerian Football Federation, NFF, has appointed two prominent local coaches as assistants to interim manager Austin Egwavon. Fidelis Ilechuku, the title winning coach of Rangers International of Enugu, and Daniel Ogumo Dede, head coach of Remo Stars of Ikene, have been brought in to support Egwavon for their pivotal matches. The appointments follow the breakdown of negotiations with German manager Bruno Labadia over tax related issues, prompting the NFF to entrust Egwavon with the Super Eagles on an interim basis. As the international football break begins, several Nigerian players were in action for their European clubs over the weekend. Former Flying Eagles midfielder Dede Bashiru made his sixth consecutive start for Watford on Sunday, but his efforts were in vain as they suffered a 1 0 defeat to Sheffield United. Wilfred Ndidi made a notable contribution for Leicester City providing an assist in their 2-1 loss to Aston Villa at the King Power Stadium. Joe Aribo's Southampton fell 3-1 to Brentford at the Getch Community Stadium, with Aribo starting the match before being substituted in the 82nd minute. Meanwhile, Alexi Wobi and Calvin Bassi of Fulham had to settle for a 1-0 draw against newly promoted Ipswich Town at Portman Road. At the city ground, Nottingham Forest extended their unbeaten start to the season with a 1-0 draw against Wolverhampton Wanderers. Ola Aino played the entire match for Forrest, while Taiwo Awoni made a brief appearance in added time as he continues his recovery from injury. Up north in Scotland, despite his impressive form with three goals in four games, Cyril Dessers was unable to help Rangers as they suffered a 3-0 defeat to Celtic in the Old Firm Derby. Dessers was also booked in the 67th minute. His compatriot Leon Balogun remained an unused substitute in the match. And in the German Bundesliga, Victor Boniface was involved for 77 minutes, while Nathan Teller played just 13 minutes as German champions Bayer Leverkusen surrendered their 35-match unbeaten league run in a dramatic 3-2 defeat at home to RB Leipzig. In Spain, Kylian Mbappe scored his first La Liga goals for Real Madrid against Betis at the Santiago Bernabeu in a 3-0 win. Having failed to score in three matches since his goal against Atalanta in the UEFA Super Cup. After creating a number of chances in the first half, the French captain finally found the net in the 67th minute, sweeping the ball past the Batiste goalkeeper with his left foot after a well timed back heel from Fede Valverde. Eight minutes later, he added a second from the penalty spot and was cleared off the field when he was replaced by Luka Modric in the 84th minute. In boxing, former Big Brother Niger star and two-time Nigerian high jump champion Mike Edwards has won his debut professional boxing match against Jake Connish. The fight held at the Dublin Arena went the distance with Edwards securing victory by unanimous decision from the judges. Edwards, who surprised many by transitioning from athletics to boxing in April, competed in the Misfits Boxing Cruiserweight Division organized by English social media personality and Nigerian-born professional boxer Olajide Williams, also known as KSL. The ongoing Paralympics in Paris, Eniola Bolaji has made history as the first African to win a medal in Para Badminton, earning a bronze medal for Nigeria in the women's singles SL3 category. Bolaji triumphed over her Ukrainian opponent Oskana Kozna in straight sets 2 0, 21 9, and 21 9 to claim Nigeria's first Paralympic medal in Paris. In tennis, US Open female champion golf was knocked out of the tournament by Spanish player Emilio Navarro in front of the fans. Ima won the match 6 3, 4 6, 6 3 leading her to a second consecutive quarter-final in Flushing Meadows. And on that happy note, we end this edition of Vaughn Sports Update. You can like, share and subscribe to this channel. Not forgetting our website www.von.gov.ng. Till next time, bye for now.